just getting uh, told off by my wife. My eight-year-old son came out when I turned up on this uh, and wanted to jump on it and then proceeded to rev it <laughs> like a loony. He loves it. He said to me that he, this would be a, a great first bike for him. <laughs> and I got some funny looks from my wife. Anyway, um, so yeah, so what we've got here is a KTM 690 SMCR. Uh, obviously around 690cc uh, single cylinder um, doodah and with I think from memory about between 70 and 80 brake horsepower in a proper from the factory Supermoto chassis so uh, WP forks and shock um, some decent uh, SM wheels road tyres uh, and a big fat um, single disc and caliper there. And this one has got a acro, what looks like a can, this looks like standard header. Um, but yeah, it's loud enough. This tops out, or well, it did top out at 120. Um, it's got a decent amount of low end. I'd expected. Uh, more low end punch. I don't know if that's just if a remap would sort that or you need to get a full system. Um, but yeah, I was slightly disappointed that it didn't have more low down. It's got um, traction control, ABS, two maps. Um, and once you get out of the low range, um, it is punchy. It'll be great, great fun on a small track. Or the or the country lanes um, where all the all the traction control and the low range punch would uh, makes for a lot of fun. It's not even that bad on the motorway. Um, I was went up the M twenty five M one. It cruises happily about um, eighty five mile an hour. But from, for me. I just don't know where I'd use it from. There's not really any space to put a chain or any security. Um, if I was to use it in town to commute with without just putting it through a wheel, uh, which a thief would have off in seconds in the back of a the van, there's no nowhere, it's a shame. So the Grom wouldn't, couldn't really replace the Grom. Uh, it, it was, it's doesn't give me anything that the Super Duke uh, gives me, uh, except I suppose in comparison that this is lighter. Um, it's lighter and it handles well, but I'm really trying to find a way that I can rationalise um, getting one of these. I suppose the only way would be to sell the R1, but do I want to? And for the price, I think these go from brand new from about eight grandish, eight or just below nine. <clears throat> I think maybe if I was to get one it would probably be an earlier one or if there was a price around four four between four and five um then it'd be more of a proposition. But um fun fun great handling bike um especially with the decent decent uh, service intervals. That was a pain on the two-stroke. I think that <coughs> you buying the enduro version of this would suit me, and I suppose the majority of people more, giving them the option of going off-road uh, and doing trips. Um, some of you guys would have heard that I want to do some of the Trans-European Trail, and having a, a bag over the back of the enduro version, um, will probably give me the majority of what this has to offer and something I could probably work with with man maths. Anyway, there's not going to be any uh, riding uh, videos today. <clears throat> there's plenty of them out there on YouTube, but just thought I'd give a quick um, description, a quick vlog on this. Uh, also, especially as I'm still breaking in my HJC Rafa helmet uh, ahead of next Thursday's uh, Brands Hatch GP track there on the super cheek anyway um, please hit like and subscribe um, for more videos and I'll see you in the next one